Hello, VW LT camper van update. Previous video, we got the box off. Um, I'm going to roll a little bit of footage now from from the prep work we've done up to this point. So we've we've rubbed it all down. It's been painted out and ready for the box. And we've just acquired a box today, which has been a bit of an effort because with the lockdown and everything else, we've managed to find somewhere locally. Um, where we've been able to pick something up so we're going to get that back today have a look good look around that and see if we can mount it up onto the chassis so yeah exciting stuff nice uh, fresh Sunday morning we're all mental so we're out here and we're going to crack on with this today the plan is to get some grinding wheels on here get this any rust and debris off and give us a coat of my famous pylon paint undercoat i'll show you where we're up to anyway in a previous video you saw us taking the box off at the moment we've left the luton on because it's open otherwise and the owner still is using this as a day-to-day -day vehicle so that's been boarded off you can see that this actually was a van of originally before the conversion was made so the plan today is to basically grind all this back down to solid and then give it a good coat of the pylon primer and that's a base then for the new body. Make the shop people laugh. Weapon of choice today is the old steel wheel and we'll get some flap discs as well. Um, these are deadly so we are going to be masked up and um, and air defenders as well because uh, these wires will go for anything so so that's all the noisy stuff done had the wheel over this and the grind and flat disc and hoovered and basically we are now ready for our baby poo pylon primer this stuff is awesome this is the last of this um but this is what they paint the, the electricity pylons with or an undercoat that sticks like shit to a blanket and is absolutely awesome so we're going to give this a once over with that and um yeah, and we're ready to go for the box. Mm. So, if you want a baby shit hey, coloured truck where are the people to call so it's all the bare metal rubbed back down and this is on a bit more to do but yeah this stuff is like bulletproof so one day I'm gonna get a painter and a, a compressor and a spray gun to make life a little bit easier but anyway We picked this up late last night. This is the new box for the LTVW. And if that don't work, we've got somewhere for the zombie apocalypse. Little medical centre. A side door on this side. And these double doors which are going to be mounted up against the cab of the LT or the Luton of the LT. I'll walk you around it and I'll show you the good and bad points. It's minging, obviously. One of the reasons I've got we got this, I'll show you in a minute. Um, most of this end's probably going to get ripped out because we've got two wheel arches to put in, um, and this is going to be the bedroom end. So probably up against this end will be a bed and some sort of living accommodation in this end. So most of this is a little bit of water ingress in here, which we need to address 
and need to get on it. Uh, cupboards are quite horrible, so most of this I think is probably going to get pulled out. But I'll show you the good, the nice bit, and I think it's been worth getting. Is you've got this nice little kitchen area, pedestrian door in that, fridge, cooker, sink, and hot water, and we've got water tank, water pump and everything and everything works lights all in here so I think the general plan is have a good bloody tidy up good clean up today I've got the usual pock marks on the outside this is on the your driver's sides there's always on the driver's sides where you get these because of stone chips and crap off the road so while it's sunny today and nice we're gonna address all these all this exterior stuff get them all rubbed back and filled up and there's a little bit to do on the roof so that's the first point of call and then we'll see how that's attached to the chassis probably get the forklift on the back and just have a little look see how that's because that's obviously got to come off those wheels but good starting point i think okay the old uh we've gone round and as you can see i filled all of these pin pricks in and as soon as you start looking and rubbing that's and we're also done things like these reflectors on the back on the sides i mean and on the back we've took them off so all these things will help with damp problems so it's all been filled up all the way round and we've sealed the roof sealed the skylights and basically we're going to have a little look inside now and see what the state of it is in there so everything up to that bulkhead has got to come out in here um, in order to so we can get the wheel arches in the bed in and all the rest of it and i think we've got some damp and shit up these ends so rather than cover anything over we're just going to strip it out for the sake of an hour's pissing around we'll um, rip that all out and um, we're ready for the refit then so at least we know it's watertight now well as we suspected this side's not too bad that corner's shit but we need that anyway the end's coming off anyway so that in a bother this side's your road side so we knew that was going to be crap but not bad the reaction is all oh, good <laughs> <laughs> so stripped all the crap off we are about new baton new bit of wood along the bottom there and we're going to take this corner out and then reboard rebatten and that's basically a rebuild of this corner but that's all the crap out now and everything's been treated wood treated so don't kill anything that's left in there always needs to look a bit worse before it looks better losing the light a bit but i think you get the idea this wall's been redone basically restudded um we've got 50 mil of sellotex in there so it's completely completely done so windows back in trims are back on everything's been took off resealed and then screwed back through onto fresh wood so all looks a bit of a mess we've got mud and shit everywhere here um it's not very pleasant so next few days weather willing uh, cut this off the the chassis and get this mounted up onto the old lt thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one take care